When it comes to patent research, you can either pay a lot of lawyers a lot of money, or you can research things on the internet using crowdsourcing. Today, we're pleased to welcome Cheryl Malone. She's the founder and CEO of Article One Partners, and her startup does just that. So before we get into the details, tell me a little more about Article One Partners, what you guys do, how it works. What we do is work with the global community, reaching three million scientists and technologists, and they research the validity of patents in English and in eight other languages via foreign language portals on Article One. So how many of these people are there and who are they? Are they lawyers? Are they ex-lawyers? Are they housewives? Who are they? For our community, we call them advisors who have given us information about their backgrounds. 57% have advanced degrees, scientists, industry, academicians, students, perhaps some housewives. Uh, that all have an interest in technology research and they're incentivized through crowdsourcing to provide us with evidence about the validity of patents. Excellent. So you launched about six months ago at our startup conference. How have you grown in the last six months? What's happened to Article One Partners? So Startup 09 was a catalyst for Article One. We had launched about six months prior and we had tremendous validation from the VC community through Startup. In the last six months, we've just completed a funding round through a private investor. We've doubled our staff, including hiring a president with over 25 years of experience in the patent space and a former acting president of North American Sapient. Uh, we have six plus Fortune 100 clients and 12 clients, and we are at a place where we're extremely excited about our growth and success. Great. And how do you think the internet will, will kind of shape patent law going forward? Do you think it's going to be uh, easier to debunk prior patents, or do you think that uh, you know, things are going to get trickier? Or what's going to happen? So directionally, the use of the internet as a resource for gathering information is the way to go. And that's being validated on our platform. Uh, industry is talking about Article 1 and this method of doing validity research. They're also talking about academic approaches that are very similar and the ability to uncover this information efficiently and cost effectively. So it's extremely exciting. And are the uh, individuals who are doing the research for you, are they as, as, uh, as accurate or as trustworthy, I would say, as you know, hiring this expensive law firm? How do you kind of make sure that their reputation is solid? So we've been fortunate to get feedback from our clients and we have about a 33% rate of invalidity on our research projects. And we're not comparing ourselves to law firms in a competitive way. We enhance the work that law firms can do and assist them in producing high quality work. So maybe not replacing them as much as complementing them. Exactly. Great. And uh, are, are there any uh, specific cases in the, the year or so you've been around or specific uh, industries or verticals where your research has been getting a, a lot of attention or has been particularly successful? So there's a number of industries which are highly patent sensitive. Telecommunications, for example, semiconductors, pharmaceuticals. And in each of those industries, our community has found evidence that can show patents to be invalid. In one recent litigation involving mobile devices, our community has uncovered use of devices in the US uh, that is novel and that the parties have found to be very important. Hmm. In the pharmaceutical space for Merck's US Singular, Article 1 uncovered evidence and asked the Patent Office to take a second look at that patent. And the Patent Office has asked Merck to re reduce their term of their patent by over a year, potentially saving the public over a billion dollars. That's good. Uh, have you been looking at uh, any of the multi-touch stuff around Apple and, and Palm and some of the smartphone vendors, or have you guys not really focused on that at all? So our community has looked at those technologies and have, has produced uh, results which have been helpful to industry. Any specifics? Uh, you know, can't, can't go into specifics. <laughs> Great. And, and uh, you know, one of the reasons we're here is to, to kind of talk about how uh, the startup contest helped or did not help your business. Uh, is it you think it's a good thing for startups to uh, enter kind of a startup contest launch show type thing, or, or was it not helpful for you? Our experience has been that Startup 09 was a catalyst for us increasing our growth and success rate. Uh, there was an objective validation by the judges, and there's been a great recognition of the value, particularly of the Business Insider sponsoring uh, the competition. And I feel that it's been a tremendous asset to Article 1. 
Great, thank you. Thank Cheryl you. Malone with Article One Partners. Thanks for joining us.